You know Bruce Lee, you've heard of Bruce Lee, right? He said there's three sensitive parts of the body, head, chest, and groin, right? This, we're going to do a quick test for the chest. You can count to five, I can stand, you resist, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Can you feel me pushing down? Yeah? This, right, I put my hand back in the same position. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Can you feel me pushing down? Right? I'll just put that there. One, two, three, four, five. Can you feel me pushing down? One, two, three, four, five. Can you feel me pushing down? That's, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Can you feel the difference? This doesn't make you strong. That's stressing you. Now, you grow it. Right? It's, still, it's stressing you all the time. The trouble is with stress, oxidative stress means... What well, oxidative stress is basically is the creation of free radicals. Free radicals are bad. So they all advertise antioxidants because they get rid of free radicals. The only trouble is, is that, well, A, you need to have a lot of antioxidants, and also when you sleep, you've got the Wi-Fi on. Sleep with them, so Especially if you go young, you switch Wi-Fi off. And does it work? Does it work if you don't know whether she's got the phone or not? Okay, that it depends. If, if you just do it, I'll either. So I won't tell you if I put the phone in a pocket. Or not, yeah, but right. And we'll see whether, it, whether how how well it works. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The the thing with that is that you can do that. Mm. You can do a placebo. But the point is, uh, is that that shows that it works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's with that sometimes you when I know when, when you've got this you are actually stronger I tell you what I'll test you okay I've seen these tests performed all over the world I even do them myself for demonstration they all involve the same sort of routine as testing your strength, testing your flexibility, testing your balance and it revolves around the claims made by applied kinesiology. More or less they work a little bit like this. Now when you want someone to appear weak, have them stand with their arms out and push down but push slightly away from their center of gravity, slightly away from the body and they'll easily fall off balance. Now, if you want somebody to look like they're magically stronger, when you give them the product, push down again, but this time, aim your force towards their center of gravity. And what you're doing, in fact, is you're keeping them from falling over. Now, the difference in the force being used in, in the two tests is very subtle, and uh, you might not notice it. And the people around watching this test might not notice it either. Okay, you probably sound, you sound... No, not really, it just, no, no. It just sort of struck I'm, me I'm tough, uh, and, and in a way it'll explain why, because yeah. when you haven't got it, I'm exerting a lot more, mm. right? When, you, when, when you've got one of these, because I can. Yeah. If I don't know and I exert when you haven't, you're going to go flying. And also my public yeah. library, I'll show yeah, okay. you, I'll I've show you, right? I'll actually okay, do sure. it, right? Okay. I'm sorry, Kim really taught and yeah. said, okay? Bounce on one foot. Okay. I assume you're, yeah, yeah, right. So, ready? Yeah. yeah. Now, can you feel me pushing down? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Right, okay. Ready? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Do you see? Now, right, okay, and then with balance on my foot again? Yeah. See, I'm actually exerting a lot more. Yeah, and I can see my arms kind of coming this yes, way as well, isn't it, towards me? Yeah, and then, red, on one foot? Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, you sort of pulled me over that way as well, that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
it isn't it, that's subjective I could be pushing down a little bit more I could be pushing yeah, the trouble yeah. is right, yes we do them with a dynamometer to measure accurately okay sure but that a, that's your phone by the way we spend one and a half thousand pounds to be here and one if we sit down with a dynamometer it's going to take me about half, A to explain half so I'm not going to do that no, I think sure. you believe and then there's that as well yeah yeah you know, there's an old saying in the skeptical circles, if something appears too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. There's no way that we know, that science knows, that a little plastic device, a metal device, or anything you could hold in your hand, put in your pocket, can suddenly change your strength and your balance, your flexibility, basically affect your biology. If you see a test like this being demonstrated, I think you've got every right to be skeptical.